What is going on, YouTube? Brendan from Market Makers, your home for Wyckoff and Advanced Fibonacci TA, your leading market indicator. Guys, how did you like yesterday's video? Fade any rally. Now, you didn't see it so much yet in Bitcoin, and maybe Bitcoin's going to hold its support. But if you look at the broader markets, what we talked about yesterday, let's go ahead and look at the Russell. You can see it right here on the Russell. Here's your Fed rally on the four hour time frame. I'd show you on the daily, but it's only two candles. But here's your Fed rally right got above the Wyckoff structure did not make our cut pattern and of course we sold off all of the markets are down and down big today looking at the Nasdaq the Nasdaq's down 447 points almost four percent at the time of this recording and as you can see here the Nasdaq needs to hold the 0 0.5 at 11057 guys if it doesn't hold the 0 0.5 the 618s at 10612 and underneath that is the 45 angle the GAN angle going all the way back to the pandemic lows. You need to rally at one of these points, okay? If you don't rally at one of these points and you fall below the 45, remember, bearish, okay? That is bearish price action. We are long overdue for a big rally in equities, and maybe that is why Bitcoin is holding its support. Let's look at the SPX, the broader market as well. You can see this on my screen. We fell through this 618, 3694. Want to see the S&P get back above that? Again, this is considered a reversal. And Dow theory, 66% was his number. After that, you were in a reversal. And in GAN, it was 62.5. And FIB, at 61.8, you know, all relatively the same, but your bias would be to come down to that one fib at 33.79. Of course, you can retrace anywhere in between, and the 45 angle is down here all the way back from your pandemic lows. So one of these is going to give us a rally. If we can hold here, same with Bitcoin, okay? If we can hold here or fall down to the next level, which is a move, guys, all of these are moves. For the for the NASDAQ to pull down another to the 45, you're looking at another 10% move. Here for the S&P to come down to the one fib, you're looking at a 7.5% move. Let's go ahead and measure the NASDAQ so we can be exact, okay? Try to be precise. So the NASDAQ, you had to come down to that 45 angles at almost a 10% move. If it comes down to the 618, you're looking at another 4% down day, which could happen tomorrow. The markets are not open Monday, okay? Now, if you're trading, by the way, if you want to trade on Simple FX, you can trade futures and pre-market, guys, and you get a $5,000 sign-up bonus if you want to trade commodities, equities, and Forex, and we do trade signals for all of this. But go to the video description for the link to Simple FX. If you want to focus on crypto, focus on Bitcoin and the all then download BitGet. Those links are in the video description. Guys, we're going to be setting up, we're setting up an interest group for Telegram. We're looking at doing Telegram signals. A lot of people are requesting it. It will be a signals only room, okay? A little bit less expensive than joining our Discord, which you join right through YouTube. Now, in the Telegram signals, you're only getting trade signals. There's no talking. You're getting trade setups. That's it, okay? Now, if you want the full-blown experience, education, live streams, community, with 6,000 people on our Discord and access to talk to me and the other admins, the professional traders on my staff, then you need to join through YouTube with the join button. But if you are interested in only Telegram signals, you already know how to trade. You're just busy and you just need trade setups because you got to work, you got a wife, you got kids, or you got a husband, whatever. That, that That is another option for you. So use the link in the video description message Lee. He will message you back. Again, we're creating an interest list. If enough people want to do it, we're going to go ahead and do it. We'll be putting our trade signals on that telegram. Okay. So go ahead and look at that as well. Let's go ahead and jump into the TA on Bitcoin. Now, if those equities can hold their, can hold their mark or can hold their Fibonacci levels, today and tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big options expiration day in the equities markets. But if they can hold and not fall any lower, you need to see Bitcoin Bitcoin here on the weekly hold the 0.5 at 20,933. Talked about this. Guys, if you fall below this, you're going to the 618 at 18,230. Again, key support levels, okay? You are below the 200 moving average. On the smaller time frames, you can easily just come up here and start hitting your head, hitting your head and then rolling over, okay? Now, if you look at this, if we go Go ahead and go to the daily. 
On the daily time frame, again, our long-term moving averages are higher up. The 233 is now down at 39.5, and the 200s at 40,218. All of this is going to be descending. So we need to get some type of rally cooking to really get going. And for us to rally in crypto, guys, for us to rally in crypto, we have to have the equities markets hold up. That's why on this channel, I cover all the markets because we trade all these markets. And again, all those trade signals will be available in the telegram as well. I want to show you a quick video clip. It's 45 seconds long. Uh, Jeffrey Gundlach, he uh, is the man. He's the founder of Double Line Hedge Fund, uh, billionaire. He manages 122 billion in assets. Okay, I, I played for you Guggenheim Partners before about where they think Bitcoin's going. Now I want you to hear what he says about Bitcoin. It's 45 seconds. This is an interview from yesterday. Um, crypto. Okay. 21.5 is where it is as Bitcoin is as we have this conversation here. How low do you think it's going? Well, I, when it broke below 30, it looked on a chart basis that 20 was like, oh, going to happen really quickly. And it did. But the, the, the trend in crypto is clearly not positive. I mean, it topped out a long time ago. I remember I was with you in July of last year, and Bitcoin was up at like uh, 60,000 or something. And, uh, you know, that, then, then the, it dropped down to 30,000. Luther's going to break down. They managed to rally back. But it keeps putting in, uh, it, it looks like it's being liquidated. So I, I don't, I'm not bullish uh, at, at 20,000 or 21,000 on Bitcoin. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if it went to 10,000. So 10,000, guys, and the reason I show you these clips, again, it's not because I agree with them. Now, as you guys know, I have my market pattern going down to 10,591. I have long-term volume support as well as the one, as well as the one fib on the always been the case for months now that's annoying as well as the one fib on the 9500 line right so we have this confluence the reason i'm showing you these guys guggenheim partners they manage hundreds of billions of dollars between these two hedge funds they are active in the crypto space they don't think this is a good buy here and the reason that's important to know because if you listen to michael saylor yesterday he said bitcoin's on sale great place to accumulate because historically using a four-year moving average this is a line bitcoin doesn't typically cross which is the 21k line and it's already below it okay you're below it on the weekly this is why this 200 moving average is so important you're below the the historical norm for Bitcoin, the four-year moving average, you're below that now and you're below the 200. The reason this is important is the large operators in the space that control all the money, they determine the path of crypto. Remember, two out of three operators in the crypto space, which now has a market cap less than $1 trillion. It was over $3 trillion at its peak. Two-thirds of that money is gone, guys. Less than $1 trillion market cap, and two-thirds of the operators left in this space are institutions and hedge funds, like Jeffrey Gundlach's double line. If they think this is a bad place to buy, they, if Guggenheim, Gundlach, they're all saying this same number 10k you got that number nine months ago for me on this station okay or on this channel but just be aware of that we can still have rallies but retail is not going to be able to push this thing to new all-time highs if you're wasting time watching 200k 500k videos that's what it is it's a waste of time guys the u.s is in a recession and it's not official to the end of the quarter but we had a negative gdp print last quarter and guess what yesterday the atlanta fed just updated the GDP projection for the USA for this quarter to zero. Zero. That statistically means we are in a recession. Two negative GDP prints. Obviously, this quarter is not over yet, but we will find out soon. And I've long believed, as you guys know, this is a massive bubble and it is worldwide to different degrees. In the US, potentially the worst. If you look at the Eurozone, a lot of our viewers are from the UK, different countries in Europe. The Eurozone has the highest inflation it's ever had since its inception. Germany has the highest inflation since World War II. The UK has higher inflation than America. This is a worldwide problem of central banks printing money. Okay, this is idiot politicians wanting to spend money, never balancing a budget, and now we all get to pay the price for it in one fashion or another. So understand the markets you're trading in. These are markets you can make a lot of money in if you 
remove your bias and look at the charts and trade them the way they should be traded in a bear market. We will have a rally at some point. It will be a rally to fade. All of these numbers are coming down and specifically in Bitcoin, you're going to get this 95, 94, 82 number will be hit. I would say it's an 80% chance you're going to hit it. Doesn't mean you're going to hit it next week. Doesn't mean you're going to hit it in three months, but you're going to hit it. And I personally believe we'll be returning to the pandemic lows once all the markets unwind. And guys, that takes time. In the last equities bubble in the US, it took over two years for the NASDAQ to decline 82%. Everything seems to be happening happening much faster now because we have the Fed raising interest rates into a recession and they're going to overshoot and the markets will come crashing down. If it doesn't happen in September where we have capitulation, mass capitulation in equities and in Bitcoin, then it will probably happen by March. These are the 245 angles on GAN. I've been over this many times on this channel. It's not just GAN, guys. It's a market cycle. So many crashes and bottoms in markets happen in March. Just going back to .com. March of 2000 is when the crash started. Fast forwarding to 2009, great financial crisis. March of 2009 is where the market bottom 666 on the S&P and go to the go to the pandemic itself happened in March. March and September are dates you need to look at. September obviously Black Monday as well in 1987. So September is just around the corner and you see what's going on with the markets and it's a quickening. It's a very fast pace. If the Fed comes out and raises 0.7 five again next month. This could propel down even faster and we stood should still get a big relief rally. It will happen at some point and it needs to happen at one of these key support levels that we're looking at in the markets, okay? Because if you get below the 45, you're in a bearish trend and I think you're going to hit your head and you're just most likely going to keep declining. Guys, if you remember, I've said this several times now and we'll go back to the TA, I promise, but I've said this several times now. This is the first leg the first leg down, okay? You are at minus 33% on the NASDAQ. You're going down at least twice that and most likely between 80 and 90%. And on the S&P, you are down, I think, what is it down now? 22%, 22%, 23% off its all-time high. You are going, you're, that, that's the first leg. You're going between, what, we've gone down 50% twice in the last 20 years. I think you're going to minus 66%, a two-thirds retracement from the all-time high. That's how much these markets will go down. So that's where Bitcoin is going as well, okay? It's going to keep declining. You're going to have rallies. You're going to have ma major bull traps in this bubble popping, okay? It happened in 2000. It happened in the great financial crisis, and you're going to see it happen here. The housing market is collapsing around the U.S. It's probably going to catch up around the world. Housing overall is well overpriced. If you're watching this from Auckland, if you're watching this from Sydney, from Paris, from London, from Toronto, from Vancouver, New York City, anywhere in Florida, Florida, you guys know what I'm talking about. The housing market is absolutely ballistic and it's a huge bubble and it's coming down. So we have so many bearish indicators. It's not just a bearish trend. Guys, this is a downfall in the markets and it can take time to play out. But I'm telling you right now, it is going extremely quickly. Just be aware of how quickly this thing, these things are moving and we can trade this price action and really get into this and make a lot of money. Okay, so let's go back to Bitcoin. And uh, I was saving that for my other video, but I couldn't, I could not resist. I'm sorry. And if we look at the daily guys, again, we just went over this, but what we have to do here is hold 20,933. And we need to see what's, if we're getting compression yet on our volatility, we need volatility for a move, still expand it on the daily. Okay. Let's spend some time on the four hour time frame since we just went over all this stuff yesterday. The four hour changes much quicker. As you can see, we have resistance to the rise at 382 at 22,762, 0.5 at 23,593, 618 at 24, 24, 425. These are your first three key levels, okay? Your first three key retracements. Your support levels, again, you're at the 20,933, your 618 at 18,230, and of course the one fib is down there at 9,500, right? So you can see on the eight hour time frame here, you have your long term moving averages moving down. They're right at about 33K right now. And if we look at this, open this up, even here on the eight hour, you are expanding your volatility, you're still oversold. Bitcoin's just sitting still. Let's go to the four hour. 
which is what I meant to do the first time. Four hour year 200 is coming down here still. It is at about 28. 898 your 233 slightly higher up at 29782 and you can see we're trying to hold this structure here okay and this is important you have to hold in Wyckoff you have steps there's phases in Wyckoff I just focus on the key steps and your key steps that you're going to have in Wyckoff is you're going to have volatility and at some point price will want to come out and try to hold a base and make that cut pattern right you guys have seen it over and over on this channel and if you don't you fall back into the range and you can fall out of the range, right? That is that is accumulation, failing, and flipping the distribution. On the flip side, you can have volatility, you make a series of lower highs, and you can fall out the base and you're in distribution, right? So this is the two key differences, and all you have right now is volatility. You're hugging the bottom of your range at that 0.5. Very precarious place to be. You need to start seeing a succession here of higher lows in the range, working your way up to get your cup to come out. Now, if those markets can hold their structure, and tomorrow's Friday, and again, it's a long weekend, if the equities markets can hold their structure tomorrow and not sell off and break those key Fibonacci levels, um, you know, we could see some movement in Bitcoin. We could see the equities have a clean slate because the options expiration, big op op options expiration is tomorrow as well. We have stuff going on in Europe. So if we can hold everything we can have this accumulation structure, which could turn to a bullish scenario if we can start making our higher lows like we've done in the past. And if not, if everything starts going down, Bitcoin, of course, at some point, the resist, the support will give way and you'll fall down. You will not be able to survive while the equities are falling. Now, Bitcoin found its bottom first. The equities are catching up. Once they're all at an equilibrium, be very well aware if the equities don't hold that support, guys. You got to watch 18230. And then after that, all bets are off. And you're going to have support levels underneath here, but they're going to be weak support, secondary support levels. Your primary support will be at 9,500. Let's look at some indicators here. And volatility and volume. The two key indicators that I trade with, especially on the smaller time frames, you are bottling up. Do you see this? You're still expanded, but you are bottling up in volatility. Volume needs to tighten up. And now you're back below the moving average cloud. So we got that. We have to get smaller volume candles, get more volatility built up. That has to filter back up into the larger time frames to progress for a move. Okay. We got to have this bottle back up, volume calm down, and then we can get our move and hopefully. Hopefully, that will be a breakout move to the upside for every, anybody that needs to get out of positions. And hopefully, it's a very substantial and strong move, guys. But remember, the four-hour time frame, it's all going to come down to that 200. That's your first key resistance to flip is that 200 moving average. And that will be descending while Bitcoin sitting here accumulating. So just be very well aware of that. Okay. I would love to have some great, fantastic bear rallies. Like I said, 47 of the 50 largest updates in stock market history come from bear rallies, but you cannot get that substantial bear rally until they have a bottom. So we need to see the equities bottom and get a major move up guys. And in my opinion, do your own research, watch other people, preferably not the people with their hands on their face that look like complete idiots, but watch other people that seem to know what they're talking about. And I would fade any rally, meaning I would sell any rally when it looks like we're making a top, if it is a substantial rally, okay? And everybody has to make those decisions for themselves. None of this is financial advice, okay? Let's go ahead and look at this with some indicators. Again, nothing much is going to have changed since yesterday because Bitcoin did not have a reaction the same way equities have because Bitcoin bottomed already. The cloud is descending. That's to be expected. If we go ahead and look at a couple different things here, let me look at my zigzag channels, see where that median line is in the channel. You can see we're hitting it as resistance, okay? So this is, you know, again, we're in this lower tranche. Bitcoin is is poised that if the equities fall, it's going to roll out of here. Okay, it's going to roll out and come down and come down to 18,230. So tomorrow's a huge day. And actually, it's uh, what is it? Almost two o'clock, 14, 14 hours or whatever you say in Europe. It's almost two o'clock. But um, 
when the equities go to close today at power hour at the end of the day, when they go to close, just be very well aware selling could pick, pick up momentum at the end of the day. So you need to watch Bitcoin, okay? But for right now, it's been holding extremely well where it needs to hold, which is that 0.5 at 20,933, guys. So this is kind of a hold and wait pattern. And uh, wow, this video is just about 20 minutes. So Hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely check out our sponsors. Consider joining our Discord for the full benefits with the join button underneath the uh, video. And guys, if you're interested in that Telegram signals, respond to that link and get on our interest list because we will be launching it very soon if we get enough people on it, okay? And I'll keep you guys updated on YouTube as well. All right, guys, watch Bitcoin, watch the markets. You know the support levels, you know the resistance levels. Let's get this, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Happy trading.